So I'd now like to introduce you to a great champion who will tell you in her own words about her own efforts to support our mission, Beth Cullinan. Okay, great, thank you. Hi, everyone. I am, uh, my name is Beth Cullinan. I am from Team Beth Foundation that I started a few years ago. My story is I, um, and just before we get started, I'm, my goal is to get you through four slides to get closer to a drink in under four minutes, so hold me to it. Um, <laughs> but this is uh, pictures from my last party. I started, I have a clival chordoma I was diagnosed with almost five years ago after my first two surgeries in radiation. I started Team Beth Foundation in order, in honor of everyone that helped me and in order to help us find a cure. So I've had two parties to date. Um, here's some pictures and you can see Dr. Leipsch, uh there who attended my last party, who's helped many of us along our journey. Um, I started Team Beth Foundation. Everything goes to the Cordoma Foundation. To date, we've had two parties. The first party was in 2012. We called it the January Jingle. We raised 28,000, and this past April, we just had our spring soiree and raised 33,000. So, um, I just want to explain to everyone how you know it's meant a lot to fundraise and to really try and help the organization and do what I can to help m other patients, but also just that it's e it's very easy to do, and and you'd be surprised how much your network and your family and friends will really come out and support you um, when you do that. So, the first party I held. Um, was, you know, you're still sort of getting used to having the words, I have cancer coming, you know, saying that out loud, and then felt like in a way you're jumping out a window, sort of exposed, going, and um, there's 200 people there to catch you with their support. So we had 200 people at the first party, 250 at this last party, and it's just all of these people are out to support you and want to do whatever they can do to help you and your family, and your, to, you know, to get through this. So um, in terms of just some tactics of what I've uh, done, uh, the Cordoma Foundation helped me create a champions page. I created a website, teambethfoundation.org, that you can take a look at if you'd like. I always have event pages every time we do it, and we typically just have a very informal bar party where we have an open bar for two to three hours. People pay um, $75 for a ticket, and then we also get a lot of additional donations, and many people, in this case, our tickets were $75, and we had a lot of people donate the additional 25 to make it 100. So, and our goal is to have at least half of the funds go to um, the Cordoma Foundation. And then we just invite everyone we know, we promote it through social media, get to have sell tickets at the door, and then I send handwritten thank you notes to everyone that comes. And also, um, I participate in Cycle for Survival, which is a really amazing, fun indoor cycling event. It's held throughout the country in 16 cities throughout the country. And 100% um, of the funds go to rare cancer research, research at Memorial Sloan Kettering. So it's a great day, lots of fun music, and Anthony's gonna tell you about an exciting partnership that we have with Cycle for Survival this, t this year. Thank you, Beth. We are so grateful for your support and all your efforts, really successful efforts on behalf of the foundation. 